I know, I know, you missed me. I missed you too. What's up, Scripted Nation? And what's up, new people that are just watching? 58% of you guys aren't subscribed to my content. Hit the subscribe button, man. Help me out. But anyways, Evergrow Coin, for those who are not aware, Evergrow Coin is a reflection-based token that pays you 8% of every transaction in the form of BUSD. So it benefits you to hold the higher the more money that you hold the more and more uh busd you're going to receive with that being said let's go ahead and hop right into this video evergrow coins currently sitting at a price of six zero five seven five seven one seven now i think i said a lot of sevens but i want to just readdress that i did i don't want to say i told you so but i just want to say i said this was going to happen there was a lot of, we saw a whole lot of descending action and people were saying, and people were still commenting, eh, I think you're kind of over-exaggerating it, though. Nah, what happened was a dip, and it's now below, it was current, It was before just like a little bit of descending action, and it was staying above 607, and I said that I could see it drop into as low as five, uh, 6059, maybe even lower. I don't know if I said eight, maybe even lower, but it did drop even lower than that. And now we're seeing in the where it stopped at was about was at six zeros five six four five just about. Could we see another dipping action? Possibly because oh, and the market cap of, of Evergrow Coin is currently sitting at seven hundred twenty-seven, uh, uh, uh two hundred seventy-two million dollars. I apologize for that. But because when you go to Coin Gecko and you look at the crypto market in its fullness. Bitcoin's dominance is currently sitting at 40.4%. It is drastically increasing. All right. Last two weeks, two weeks ago, it was below 38% or just that 38%. And now it is 40.4%. And Ethereum is down in dominance to 17.7%. And the trading volume of crypto is down to $91.5 billion. And crypto's market cap has also dropped below $2 trillion. Is this bad news for crypto? Not necessarily. The great news is, even though the U.S. has increased the um, inflation, has done the inflation increase or whatever, and tech, t tech stocks are being hit and stuff like that, crypto and Bitcoin has stayed above $42,000 in value throughout this entire process. Now, as I expect, I expect altcoins to take a little bit bigger of a hit a little bit, but we do want Bitcoin to stay strong. Why do we want Bitcoin to stay strong? We need Bitcoin to hold strong during this time period to really prove that it is the counter to inflation. If we can prove that Bitcoin is the counter to inflation, then we're going to see an influx of people coming into crypto because now it's not just going to be people that are that are aware of what crypto is and they're going to be coming in for the funds or not the funds but just like the huge paydays but now it's also going to be including some a lot more older investors it already got some older investors a while back but it's going to see an even bigger increase of older investors um, and more uh, more institutional investors that are going to help boost the price of Bitcoin and just spread money throughout the entire crypto market. Because if Bitcoin does good and they see some nice gains, people are going to look into other cryptos and they're going to try to diversify their crypto wallet and get exposure to other crypto projects. This is how altcoins make their money. So there's definitely that positive. Why is And another thing that's holding Evergrow coin back is that Binance is taking a hit, and if Binance takes a hit, so does Evergrow Coin, so do BEP 20 based tokens. And if Evergrow Coin is one of those BEP 20 based tokens, Binance is down 2%, Evergrow Coin is down 6%. So all of this makes sense. You even have Ethereum sitting below $3,000. So Binance Coin isn't really taking that big of a hit. They're above $400. I would say Binance being below $400 is the equivalent of ethereum being below three thousand dollars so it's honestly looking good for binance tokens right now and especially binance coin versus ethereum token so good things are happening another great thing is that the mark the trading volume of evergo coin is at nine hundred ninety thousand dollars that's great 
Honestly, I am shocked that it's at $990,000. I would have expected it to be at $800,000 or $700,000. But this is great, especially when you count in that $944,000 of that is, is DEX exchange. You have $168,000 being traded on BitMart, $2,000 being traded on BuyBox, and then L Bank had $46,000 traded in the last 24 hours. So this is all great, great news, and this circulating supply is also playing a great role as far as um, the amount of, vol not volume, but as far as the price goes and the amount of volume goes as well. Speaking of volume and hold, or just volumes and people buying, the Evergo coin has 136 wallet address, 136,000 wallet addresses. If it hit 136 wallet addresses, gosh, it took a hit. And when we look at the burn, well, we can see that one wallet in the 100 to 500 billion token range sold to exactly zero. One in the 500 to 1 trillion sold their bag to being out of the 500 billion to 1 trillion range. And then we see three sold to exactly zero and 20 to 50 billion. One sold to zero and 50 to 100 billion. We see two sold to zero in the 10 to 20 billion. And then we didn't really see any new wallets come in until you get to the 5 to 10 billion range. So, yeah. So, there's been some people selling their bags to exactly zero. You're going to have people selling. I've stated this time and time again on my videos, but you're going to have people selling. And they sell for different reasons. It's not only because that they are just out on, on Evergrow coin. It might be because they have a house to pay for and they got rent coming up. I mean, tax season is here. They're going to have to pay their taxes on what they just made in crypto last year. So that might be why there's any there's so many reasons why it's all speculation at the end of the day. As far as the total circulating supply goes, 473 trillion Evergrow coin or 473 trillion, 482 billion, 643 million, 482,864 Evergrow coin has been uh, is still remaining in the total circulating supply, which is good and nice, nice, nicely, nice, nice. And when you come and look at the Team Dev wallet, you can see that they have over $41,000 in their Team Dev wallet. This means that they're getting closer and closer to being capable of burning 100 billion tokens and one burn. That would be amazing. If we see this price decrease a little bit more, but the trading volume increase as well, and more money going to this team dev wallet then we could see them actually have the possibility of burning a hundred billion tokens and one foul swoop further getting us getting us even closer to 470 trillion tokens in circulating supply by the end of the month i don't think we can hit it by the end of the month but i know we can definitely hit it or at least evergo coin can at least hit it by the end of march i believe that by the end of quarter one that 470 trillion tokens will be the current circulating supply of Evergrow coin. Let me know down in the comment section down uh, below what your circulating supply prediction is, though. I want to hear from y'all. Love it when y'all comment. And I love it when y'all hit that subscribe button and leave a like. Especially when y'all leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Peace. Love you all. Have a blessed one.